Um, why don't we just start off on a better foot? Gild Gildas wants you to try his new drink. Take that swill and pour it down What? Well. How dare you? Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. I think that's our ship over there. It's gonna take us to Solstein. Thank you for accompanying me here to Windhelm. Alright, let's get on board. Unfortunately, the magic of poisoning has taken its toll. Probably 50 years within the last couple of weeks. So I have to go to Solstheim to find the cause or the source of this poisoning. And perhaps a cure. All right, Nematis. Are you coming? All right, well, you go in that boat and I'll go in this one. Are you the captain? If you're looking for passage to Solstheim, too bad. I'm not going back there anymore. What? What do you mean you're not going back there anymore? Do you, don't you see that I'm at death's door? I mean, what, what happened? Why won't you go back? It's hard to explain. I remember those people with the masks coming on board. No! Then... Not them! The next thing I remember was here, and they were gone. And that's not right, losing whole days like that. There's been something strange going on there for a while. But after this, I'm done. I'm not going back to Solstein. Those masked people, those cultists, they're the ones that poisoned me, that, that have made me age 50 years. And yes, you are. You are taking me to Solstein. Have you been listening to me? I'm not going back there. You owe me. Those cultists you brought here tried to kill me and they've poisoned me and I'm dying. You've got to help me. All right, you have a point. Taking you back to find out who sent them is the least I can do. Besides, maybe you can put a stop to whatever's going on over there. I owe them a bit of payback myself. Thank you. It was quite a journey. Well, here we are. This is Raven Rock. Can't say I'm all that glad to see it again. Good luck. Maybe you can figure out what's going on around here. Well, I hope so. My life depends on it. What little there is left. Wait a minute. Where's the... The Mattis didn't come across. He's back on that other boat. Well, I don't recognize you, so I'll assume this is your first visit to Ravenrock, Outlander. State your intentions. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of who ever those people are in those masks that tried to kill me. Otherwise, it's none of your business. That's the kind of attitude that's going to land you in prison. I'll let it go for now. Just remember, Raven Rock is sovereign territory of House Redoran. This is Morrowind, not Skyrim. While you're here, you will be expected to abide by our laws. Any questions?
Why are you so suspicious of visitors? I have to be. The second counselor, the security of Raven Rock, is my primary concern. Has security been an issue? This isn't exactly the city of Blacklight. We're on the frontier out here. We've had more than a fair share of troubles. After all we've been through together, I refuse to let Councillor Morvane down. Wait, is that the Mattis back there? He swam across? All right, well, at least he's here. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I was distracted by that man running in the background. Um, what do your titles mean? Councillor Morvane is House Redoran's representative on Solstein. As second councillor, it's my job to support him and make certain his rule is enforced. All right, Nematis, you certainly know how to make an entrance. So, Raven Rock is purely a Dunmer settlement? Raven Rock started out as an Imperial settlement. The Empire decided to abandon it, just as my people were first setting foot here. They left the town a shambles, but when House Redoran took over, we turned it around, and it became ours. And even if it's been a struggle to make this island livable, we're proud to call it home. I don't know why I have this question, but what is the city of Blacklight? Your ignorance of our homeland doesn't surprise me. It's the capital of Morrowind. Been that way ever since Mournhold was sacked by the Argonians. I don't visit there often anymore, but we still get the occasional supply ship and visitors from there. The Argonians invaded Morrowind? Quite a while ago, yes. They cut a bloody swath across most of the southern region of Morrowind. Nobody seems certain why it happened. Attempted expansion? Revenge for the enslavement of their people? Or perhaps both? Whatever the case may be, thousands of Dunmen needlessly lost their lives, and many more were exiled from their homeland. Giolan, I was starting to wonder what happened with the maiden. Thank you. We, uh, we were delayed by bad weather. Before you even asked. Come on, Let's go. Have the supplies you requested. More trouble? But. Excuse me. If you're looking for supplies, talk to Fethis. He'll set you up with whatever you need. Okay, thank you. Safe travels. I thought you were here to arrest me or something. Settlement. That isn't my problem. I was clear when I loaned Garvin the money that I wanted it back by first harvest. There's something the matter here? Hello? I work for Mogro. You got a problem, you talk to him. Boethia, guide your blade. Hello there. Looking for any potions, ingredients, alchemical supplies? You're selling quite a few exotic ingredients. I think you're one of the people that I need to talk to about a cure for this magic of poisoning. Yes, I'm proud to say that I grow or harvest most of it myself. I only wish I had a better source for Netch jelly. Those creatures are difficult to track down since it's so dangerous beyond the bulwark. I could gather some for you. That would be splendid. I'd be more than happy to give you something for the effort. All right, where did you learn your alchemy skills? After we left Morrowind, we found ourselves in Skyrim. We wandered around a bit and ended up in Morthal, where we took up temporary residence with Lami, the town's alchemist. I was fascinated by her work, 
And over a period of a few years, she taught me quite a bit. Why did you leave Morthal? It wasn't long before we became homesick. We were the only Dunmer in Morthal. When word reached us that a settlement of Dunmer was forming on Solstein, we were thrilled. It's been difficult, but I'm not regretting it one bit. In fact, I'm glad we've been able to stay and help. How has Raven Rock needed your help? As you can imagine, the eruption of the Red Mountain took an awful toll on Solstein. Hunting for game has been scarce, and the waters are apparently too tainted for fishing. According to Counselor Morgan, my husband's been Raven Rock's most important food source for decades. All right. Well, thank Careful you. with those netches. They may look tame, but they can seriously hurt me and threaten. There's something amiss. I appreciate that. I can sense your concern. It's not a um, sir, can I help you? I'll give you this warning only once. Stay out of my way, and we'll do just fine. I don't think Nematis takes kindly to your threats. Good day. Quite well. Alright, who else do I need to talk to here? Is there an inn or something around here? This might be one. The Wretching Natch? Try to figure out my lay of the land here. This place is so foreign. Hello. Welcome to the Wretching Netch Corner Club, home of the finest Sue Jammer that will ever grace your lips. Your inn has an unusual name. There's actually a funny story behind the name, friend. A few years ago, I was walking down by the docks. I noticed a Dunmer staggering along with a bottle of Sujama in hand. He was one of my patrons and liked to drink heavily, so I wasn't exactly surprised. Doesn't sound unusual. Ah, but you see, this particular Dunmer was as naked as the day he was born and singing badly at the top of his lungs. As I'm watching this spectacle, a netch floats over the bulwark towards him. The man looks straight up at Fenech, yells, have a drink, and tosses the bottle. And it never hit the ground. What did the Netch do? Well, the bottle broke on the Netch, and it must have swallowed its contents because it started floating sort of tilted. <laughs> Finally, it stopped and began to quiver. A few moments later, the foulest liquid to ever assail your nostrils <laughs> spewed from its maw. Yuck. I've seen plenty of drunks in me day, and I'll tell you right now, that niche was sick. Now I get it. <laughs> True story, friend. True story. Have you heard any rumors lately? Haven't heard anything lately. But check back with me. You never know. So what's the specialty of the house? The finest who jam it across your lips, friend. My own personal formula that I call Sadri Sujama. In fact, I've just added some new ingredients to the mixture that I think makes it taste better than ever. All I need to do is get the war out when it's ready, and they'll flock here for it. Well, since I'm new in town and I'm going to be wandering around, I could help spread the word. I was kind of hoping you'd say that. Here, take these samples of the Sujama and spread the word. If you get rid of all of it, there's something extra in it for you. That's a lot of Sujama. All right, Geldis. Good day. All right, Nematis, we're ready. Who's this? Hello. Miserable. Just miserable. Oh, I hate this place. You don't like it on Solstein? Don't like it. I hate it. Every day it's the same thing. We open the shop, 
We hardly sell a thing. We close the shop and go to sleep. What kind of a life is that? Hmm. Well, why not return to Morrowind? Ah, oh, believe me. I'd be on the first ship off this miserable island if I could. But I'm not sure I could do that to my father. I think it would break his heart. We've already lost my mother. I don't want to leave him alone. How did your mother die? We lived in a settlement, perhaps a league from the border of Black Marsh. The homeland of the Argonians. Oh, not them Even again. Even though the Argonian invasion ended a long time ago, there are still a few scale-skinned clans that live within our borders. To put it simply, they attacked our settlement and slaughtered almost everyone. No! It was horrible. Well, maybe this will cheer you up. Gildas wants you to try his new drink. At least my father will let me drink whatever I want without complaining. Tell Geldis I appreciate it. Keep yourself safe. All right. Solstheim's still a dangerous place. Oh, it is? Well, thank you. Nomadus? Vendor Severin. What? A oh. pleasure to meet you, Serial. Sir? We have some frightening looking eyes. Always glad. We I meet again, Serial. Speak your mind. Um, Gildas wants you to try his new drink. Not today. What? Too many things on my mind. Oh, okay. Pleasant journey, Samuel. He said he'll meet you where you met for the first time. He said you'd know what right, it means. I do. Where's the madness? All right, I'm leaving. Hold on, there was... What's up, what's up here? Who is up here? Sir? Welcome to the Wretching Nets Corner Club, me lord. If you need anything, Master Geldis will be happy to help you. Well, actually, he wants you to try his new drink. Sorry. Geldis won't allow me to drink while I'm working at the Netch. Oh, okay. Safe travels. Excuse me? Teldrin Sero, Blade for Hire. If you have the coin, I'm at your service. Um, no thank you. I already have someone. Um, you again? I work for Mogul. Okay. You got a problem, now, you talk you to him. Alright, what about you? Me. If you're dealing with me, there's only one thing to remember. Pay your debts or end up hurt. Um, why don't we... Just start off on a better foot. Gild Gildas wants you to try his new drink. Take that swill and pour it down what? the What? Well. How dare you? Oh, oh, come on, Nematis, let's go. Maybe I... He, you're on if duty. you're looking, there's nothing beyond the okay. bulwark. Except wild nords and ashways. How about you? Hello? Want to buy anything? Or just laugh at our misfortunes. What? Do you sell any special mining gear? Mining gear? No. However, I used to sell East Empire pendants until I ran out of them. Popular little item. What's an East Empire pendant? It's an amulet that was made exclusively for the East Empire company. They gave them to their workers as an incentive at one point. A kind of reward for extra effort. They're no longer being made, so they've become a collectible. I'd love to get my hands on a few of them. Where can you find them? They could be anywhere on the island. The mines might be a good place to start. If you find any while you're exploring Solstheim, bring them here, and I'll pay you for them. All right, that sounds like a deal. Um, incidentally, Gildas wants you to try his new drink. Geldis needs to bottle this up and send it to the mainland instead of wasting his time out here. His drinks are outstanding. Thanks. Oh, well, at least someone that's civil. Um, are sales that bad out here? Bad? What if I told you that you're the first person that's even considered looking at my wares today? I've half a mind to contact my friends at the East Empire Company and see if they need an extra hand in Windhelm. You have friends at the East Empire Company? 
Oh, absolutely. In fact, I've corresponded with Vittoria Vici herself more than once. You know, the lady who runs the East Empire Company warehouse in Solitude. The biggest warehouse they have in Skyrim. Oh, yes, I've run into her before. Ah, you're just like the rest of the folks around here. Mark my words. The East Empire Company will return to Ravenrock. And when they do, I'll be at the top of their list. Um, it comes to mind that I was once given an assignment months ago, which required me to come here to Solstein, because it was you. I didn't remember your name. You want something enchanted. It's about time someone arrived. I know. Here, make sure this is handled properly. And what exactly do you sell here? The question you should be asking is, what don't I sell here? Because I have pretty much any supplies you might need. If it's not a weapon, potion, or armor, then it's likely that I have it. Where did you get all these items? Jarland, over at the docks, brings me most of my supplies. And the rest comes from bartering with the people in town. Oh, Glover Mallory gets me a few things once in a while. He usually has the most amazing deals that I can't pass up. The East Empire pendants are scattered all over, so leave no stone unturned. All right, very well. Hello, sir. Welcome to Raven Rock, Traveler. Could I interest you in any fine ash-grown foods? What exactly is ash-grown food? The Dunmer have been growing food in the Ashlands for thousands of years. It was born out of the necessity to survive in the harsh climate of our homeland. And now, with the constant eruptions of the Red Mountain, it's more important than ever. Is magic involved? No. Only the Tilvani have the ability to weave living growth from the ash. This simply takes the right ingredients, the right tools, and a lot of patience. What do you have for sale? If you've got something to sell, I'm willing to buy. Why don't we see what kind of deal we can make? Hmm, I see. All right. And, before I leave, Gildas wants you to try his new drink. Always a pleasure to taste anything Gildas comes up with. Oh, another civil person. Next time you're hungry, stop by. Okay. I always have plenty of food for sale. Oh, well, thank you. Um, she's gone. What is it, um... Oh, it's... we've spent the entire day... ...traveling. Nematis, I guess we need to find somewhere to settle in. Is this an inn? lost. Oh, yes. Actually, I was looking for somewhere to stay the night. Hello. On behalf of House Redoran and as Counselor of Raven Rock, I bid you welcome. Why, thank you. Um, while I'm here, uh, Gildas wants you to try his new drink. Good old Gildas is always managing to keep our spirits up and our eyesight hazy. Thank you. Do you rule all of Solstein? Solstein is theoretically under Oh, Solstein, rule. excuse me. But without revenue from the mine, I lack the resources to actually govern anything but Raven Rock itself. Not that there's much beyond the confines of our town anyway. Raven Rock is the only settlement on the island? Well, there's a small enclave of Nords to the north in Skarl Village. 
They pretty much keep to themselves, and we both like it that way. Then there's Telmithrin to the east. The Telvanni live out there. Sort of a strange lot. But since we're both from Morrowind, we get along. Other than that, Solstheim is crawling with bandits and reeklings. But that's to be expected living in a frontier like this. What is House Redoran? You've never heard of House Redoran? We're the mightiest of the great houses, and we lead the council, the ruling body of Morrowind. Council? You mean there's no Jarl? This isn't Skyrim, Outlander. A group of powerful and influential Dunmer families have been ruling Morrowind for millennia. They embody a council made up of five great houses. Telvani, Drez, Endoral, Sadras, and Redoran. But you said Redoran leads the council. Well, of course. With four other houses on the council, someone has to keep the rabble organized. Our house leads the council by virtue of our preeminence in battle, wisdom, and ancestral glory. Oh, excuse me. I'm sure you didn't mean to brag. It all sounds rather complicated, though. Yes. I imagine it would to someone not of our people. If you're interested in pursuing the subject, help yourself to any of the historical volumes in my library. Oh, well, thank you. Um, what happened to the mine? I'm not sure why I'm asking that question, but... I suppose I'm just curious. It used to be one of the richest ebony mines in Morrowind. Really? But it dried out years uh, ago. No! Now, we're barely holding out here. Without the mine, Ravenrock doesn't feel like it can last much longer. I'm sorry to hear that. My doors are open if you wish to discuss matters involving Ravenrock. Okay, thank you. Um, Nematis, we're leaving! Okay, this is not an inn. What's this down here? An ancestral tomb? Alright, that's someone's house. I mean, I hope they have somewhere for people to stay. Offering, um, rooms, but maybe that was the place. I don't know. Okay, not here. Not there. Abandoned building. Oh, hello. Oh, this is... This Vendel Severin. Oh, this Pleasure is your house. You, Sarah. Didn't I meet Always you already? Always glad to help, Sario. What can I do for you? I need a place to spend the night. It gets lonely out here, you know. On this remote island. Oh, does it really? Um, maybe you'd like to try some of this new drink. Well, tell Geldus that Miri says she really appreciates it. I'll be sure to do that. And don't stay away for too long. All right then. Good night. Locked? Um, this has to be the only place we can stay. I don't think there's anything else. Mug around here somewhere. Yeah, 
Have I talked to all these people about his drinks? I'd be on the first ship off this island if I had the coin. Mm -hmm. What a waste. The East Empire pendants mm -hmm. are scattered mm -hmm. all over. Your visit here will oh. be tolerated. Why don't you try? By our Lord. Okay. Otherwise, you'll answer. Yeah, to the yes, but well, why don't you try this new drink? What? Oh, no, thank you. I need to keep my head clear. Oh, okay. You're one of those people. Remember, we are watching you. How about you? Glover. You haven't seen Crescius Corellius, have you? That foolish old man's taken my pickaxe again. I have another batch of vegetables. Um, I don't even know who that is. Why all the fuss over a pickaxe? No, 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 this isn't just your run-of-the-mill pickaxe. I'm talking about an ancient Nordic pickaxe. They don't exactly grow on trees, you know. Can't you just get the guard to find Crescius? Um, I prefer to handle these things on my own. Look, if you see Crescius, tell him to give me that pickaxe back, and I'll pay you for the trouble. Oh, why don't you try this new drink that Gildas made? Perfect. I was just thinking about heading over for a drink. Thanks for saving me the trip. Well, you're welcome. How did you end up in Raven Rock? A fine question, and the one that I hear most often from visitors to our town. I wish I had a more romantic tale to tell. But I was simply seeking my fortune and chose Raven Rock to ply my trade. Besides, knowing how to repair bone mold armor wasn't very useful in Riften. Who taught you that? I had a friend over there, a dark elf named Van Reif, a very talented armor smith. Spent a lot of time with the guy swapping smithing techniques. Learned a heck of a lot, including how to repair bone mold. After he moved on to greener pastures, I decided to pack up, move out here, and put those lessons to the test. Been here ever since. And what is an ancient Nordic pickaxe? It's the only tool tough enough to crack Stalrim, is what it is. Not many of those beauties left in the world. Forging them is a lost art. The one Crescius borrowed came from the Skull Village up north. I, uh... Traded them some goods for it. Is Stalrim a type of ore? I think I might have seen some of it in um, Skyrim. Calling Stalrim an ore is like calling my forge a campfire. Some folks say it's enchanted ice, but I think there's more to it than that. I assume it's rare? I don't think I've come across more than a chunk or two in my lifetime, and smithing's my trade. If you're looking to learn more, you should head over to the Skull Village. Someone there's bound to know more about it than I do. Okay. You tell Crescius he better give that pickaxe back to me, or else. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Who else? Who else haven't I given, um, drinks My to? My wife and I are doing the best How's we can to keep Clover? Raven Rock fed. The you look able to venture outside of town. Perhaps you could help me recover something precious that was lost. These hands were made for bending steel. Um, what did you lose? A few months ago, I had sent an important folio to the first edition bookshop in the Imperial City to be rebound. They sent it back to me recently, but it never arrived. Was it aboard a ship? Yes, the Strident Squall, or something like that. The damn thing sunk right off the coast of Solstheim. Can you imagine? How do you know? One of the sailors survived. Poor thing crawled all the way to Raven Rock on his hands and knees. Before he died, he told the Redoran guard about the wreck and warned us that it was going to be crawling with reavers. All right, well, since I'm here and I'm going to be exploring, I'll see if I can find the book for you. Thank you. You have no idea how much it hurts losing such a precious heirloom. My Next time you're hungry, stop by. So I certainly I have the have means better. to reward you if you find my folio. Um, wait, wait. The master calls. I am his Wh hand. What? What did you... Uh, excuse me? I am his hands. Where are these people going? The Mattis. What just happened? Come on. Ex 
Excuse me. The master calls. <gasps> no. I there am his hand. is something going on here. We've stopped. What is it? Hold on. Your visit here will be tolerated as long as you abide by our laws. Otherwise, you'll answer to the Redoran Guard. All right, you seem okay. But these people... Hello? Yes? Remember, Until next time. We are watching you. He draws near. Who draws near? What's going on here? Where are these people going? The idle mind sleeps. I am his hands. The master calls. Clover. The idle mind sleeps. Drayla. I am his hands. What is going on? Clematis, come on. Whatever, they're headed this way. Who's this? Excuse me. Here in his shrine. That they have forgotten. They're all under a spell. You there. You! you don't seem to be in quite the same state as the others here. Very interesting. May I ask what it is you're doing here? Hmm. That's that, then. That we might remember. Um, actually, I think I need to talk to you. What brings you to Ravenrock? You may be able to help me with what a cure. What day was stolen? You have what any brings idea? you to Ravenrock? He I've been poisoned by cultists. I've aged What's 50 years. Alright, well. Maybe you can help me later. What brings you to Ravenrock? That's that, then. Now through them. What brings you to Ravenrock? What? I'm compelled to say I'm looking for someone named Mirak, even though I don't know who that is. Mirak, Mirak. It sounds familiar, and yet I can't quite place... Oh, wait, I recall. That makes very little sense. Mirak's been dead for thousands of years. What? What does that mean? I'm not sure. But it is fascinating, isn't it? Perhaps it has some relation to what's going on here. Quite unexpected. I'm afraid I can't give you any answers, but there are ruins of an ancient temple of Mirak's toward the center of the island. If I were you, I'd look there. Right? What are these people doing? Building something, clearly. And yet they don't seem to have much to say about it. I'm very interested to find out what happens when they finish. Have you tried to stop this? Certainly not. Doing so would interfere with whatever is going on, and I would be unable to see how this all turns out. That's that, then. Yes, it is. They're worshipping this stone. He grows ever near to us. Our eyes once were blind. Now through him do we see. This is terrible. Our hands once were idle. Right, no matter. Let's get out of here. Now through them does he speak. And when the world shall listen. And when the world shall see. Get too far ahead. Mm 
All right, come on. I really want to get some sleep so we can start our day anew. This, this wretched niche. There must be rooms. Alright, kill this. Welcome to the wretched niche corner. Okay, club, good. Home of the finest Sue Jammer that will ever grace your lips. Um, I'm glad to see that you rent rooms. I'd like to rent one. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right Thank this you. way. No matter, something very, very strange is going on here. Let me know if there's anything else you need. That'll be all, thank you. All right, I'm gonna get some much needed rest. Grows ever near you must to fight us. against what is Who is this? You must listen to me. Our Isra, I'm here to help you. You must leave this place. You there. What you brings there. you to this place? Why are you here? I, I don't know. Who are you? I am Freya of the Scar. I am here to either save my people or avenge them. Save them from what? I am unsure. Something has taken control of most of the people of Solstein. It makes them forget themselves and work on these horrible creations that corrupt the stones, the very land itself. My father, Storm, our shaman, says Mirak has returned to Solstein, but that is impossible. And it, it's this Mirak. He's the person that sent those people in the fright masks. He tried to have me killed. Then you and I both have reason to see what lies beneath us. Let us go. There is nothing more I can do here. The tree stone and my friends are beyond my help for now. We need to find a way into the temple below. What's that sound? What, what is the tree stone? It is an ancient stone of power. A connection to the Allmaker. It represents one of the aspects of nature. A part of the Allmaker's creation. There are other stones around Solstein. I fear for what has happened to them. That they have forgotten. Sorry. You're here by yourself? What?! Oh, 
cultists! This is one of the cultists, all right. If you're ready, let's go. Yeah.